here's the setup. We've got the Kinkoni controller over here, ESP, Ethernet, power, signal. And we've got the distribution block here with all the fuses. We've got power here, and this is the Ethernet breakout board. So, and back here, apparently, is the water sensor. We've already got the uh, system set up in Home Assistant so that you can see what happens. The way this works is power comes into here, into the distribution block, and we have positive and negative coming out and going over into the ethernet. And I'm, on the ethernet, I'm using the orange for 12 volt power, I'm using brown for ground, and I'm using green for signal. Those go through this big pile of ethernet. I think it's about 50, 60 feet long. Where it terminates out here with the green wire for signal, and the green wire goes to the green wire on the water sensor for its signal. The red connects to the orange over here. I used to be doubling out, that's why there's two in here. And then both the uh, black and blue here go to ground um, because this is a um, connect ground to one of these pins to register on the uh, ESP home system. So that comes all the way back to this thing. This needs 12 volt power and then uses uh, either the uh, green or yellow wire to show you normally closed or normally open. I forget which one I'm using. You can flip them in Home Assistant, so it doesn't really matter. Um, additionally, power is coming out of this and going over to the board, which runs off of 12 volt power. This is just a standard Ethernet line going to my home network to connect, to connect into Home Assistant. And then finally, we have the signal wire in what is port 1 here, coming all the way over and connecting in here to what is the green wire on the ethernet breakout board. And so with this all set up and programmed in, when I take this water sensor, which has these prongs down on it and dip it in some water, we get a sensor going on and off. works great. And then I'll probably do the same setup for more or less for any read switches. Um, I just won't need the uh, 12 volt going into it because it's just a ground loop connection. But otherwise the setup will be pretty much the same. And it works great.